Hello, this is William Witcher, and today we're going to be looking at a tool that is in what's called the Security Onion that analyzes traffic. In this particular case, we're going to be looking at Network Miner. Network Miner is an application you can use to analyze PCAP sources and traffic. In this exercise, we're going to be looking at the PCAP source, the PCAP selected file, of course, the analysis of the traffic, host, images, credentials, parameters, anomalies, and other findings as well. Before we begin, let's take a look at where we are actually going to be getting this file from. We're going to be getting the file from a publicly available uh, packet capture location uh, from the organization known as ISTS. It is an information security talent search location uh, organization that is run uh, primarily by students. In this case, we're going to be looking at the repository that they have dated March 8, 2015. Within that repository, there are 832 CAP files. We're not going to be analyzing all of those today, just one. In that particular repository, we're going to be looking at a particular file. This is the SNORT file located uh, at the bottom of a repository. It's 175 megs, very large file for us to analyze. Again, we're going to be using the package called Network Miner. Uh, Network Miner is a package that is available free uh, for, uh, for limited use. There is a professional version that offers more capability. For our purposes, we'll be using the free version of this particular file. Okay, let's go right into Network Miner. I've loaded the particular file uh, in question, and I'll show you uh, here in this area here this is that same snort.log file the 175 meg file here it's already been opened and loaded by the way even though it's 175 megs I've loaded this on my local laptop it took approximately 10 to 12 minutes for this file to completely load so that I can uh, I can analyze it okay let's take a look at some host in this area here under the host tab you can see we've got a number of hosts uh, at various versions we've got windows looks like we've got other versions of os as well i'm sure there's some linux in here ah there's some linux as well as you can see here we open this up a little bit more you can see uh, the uh, captured traffic analyzing those particular systems as well under these locations here we can definitely see different kinds of traffic tell you what let's take a look now at images what images did network miner pull up for us a number of thumbnails as you can see but also we actually have pictures of individuals this looks like some sort of a football player here um, we have two young ladies represented here I don't know what the uh, purpose of the pictures are uh, again, we're just analyzing this within the package. We're not going to drill in or click in uh, because there may be malware represented behind some of this information as well. Let's take a look at credentials. As you can see, Network Miner has pulled up a full list of credentials, clients, servers, protocols, usernames. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look at parameters. I always find that a bit more useful as it relates to uh, credentials. Here we'll actually state a particular username. In this case, we can see there's a username admin. Looks like that's really the only username in here. If we scroll quickly to passwords, hit P there. Parameter values, host names. Okay. Uh, the other thing we're going to take a look at here are files. What kind of files are located on this particular system? Here we're looking at a lot of Quant Store. That's actually a network storage device. It's likely storage of some sort. As we look further down here, what else can we find that is available for us to uh, to take a look at within this file? A lot of quant store. I can see we've got a few TXT files here. 
not very large. Very interesting. Ah, there are those pictures, by the way, that we were looking at. Michaela Butler. Got another file here as well. Those are the image files we were looking at earlier uh, in the image uh, tab for Network Miner. What other items are available here for us to take a look at? Let's see if we can't see any items with regards to anomalies. Okay, looking at anomalies, let's expand this out a little bit here. Okay, looks like we've got a lot of potential ARP spoofing going on as well. Very interesting. Okay. Clear text. This might take a while for it to pull up. There's quite a bit there. As you can see, it pulls up a lot of free text, clear text. Information such as admin, password, local host. You can see quite a bit of information within this particular application. It's called Network Miner. Again, the idea here was to ensure that we could take a look at the um, PCAP source, analyze some of the traffic, look at host, are we able to look up any images or any other payload items, and any other anomalies. That concludes the session for Network Miner and our analysis of the captured traffic. I thank you.